Let's now go ahead and start and look at a cow-calf enterprise budget. We've looked at our crop budgets, and our crop budgets are fairly straightforward because we're looking at just one crop activity that would have occurred for that particular enterprise. On the other hand, when we think about livestock, there's more involved than just a bushel of corn or just a ton of alfalfa. We now have quite a few things happening. So our cow-calf specifically budgets are the ones that are gonna be a little more difficult. So if we look at a cow budget, a ewe budget, or a sow budget, those ones have a little bit more activity going on because they've got themselves plus the progeny to include all the costs for. So we're gonna look at a cow-calf budget. This example is in your text. And so again, hopefully as you listen to the videos, you also have your PowerPoint notes um, printed out for yourselves or at least looking at it on your screen because I know you can't see these small numbers when we're doing it, but at least that way I can point to things and I can describe things to you through doing it by video. So with this cow-calf budget, here's what we typically are gonna do. Because we have gotta consider the cow with her calf and everything else that's included in that enterprise, we're gonna think of a cow unit as involved with many different aspects. So for this case, a cow unit includes the cow herself. It also includes the calves. And so we will describe the calves in just a minute. But the other additional things we need to remember is that there's also bulls that we need to, when we incorporate the costs into this, and we're looking at our costs, we wanna put a little bit of extra cost in for some of our feed products and our vet products specifically to account for the fact that we've got some bulls. So this particular case looks at 0.04 bulls. That means that we're running approximately one bull per 25 cows, if we kinda of put that on a percentage basis, okay? And so we're looking at over the course of, if we had a 100 cows, then we would be looking at four bulls included in that 100 cows. So oftentimes when these cow-calf budgets are included, we take things and we think about the percentage of each different item that is included per cow. So we've got one cow included, We've got a little bit of bull information we need to include in terms of just some costs, some breeding costs, and some feed costs for him. Then we're gonna assume a calf crop percentage so we know how many we're gonna be selling. Some of you, when you did it on your particular budget and you had to look up the, the ones, specifically the ones I was noticing was the sheep ones, they would use a percentage, and where we're using 90% calf crop, in use, it might be 180% um, because we're assuming that on average, we're gonna have singles, twins, and triplets. And so we're gonna fall somewhere a little below that twin point, okay? So on the cattle, we're usually looking at a 90 to a 92% calf crop would be the most common values that we see most people use, but you can adjust that calf crop percentage to your own numbers. We also wanna make sure and notice that out of all the calves we're gonna look at that we're gonna sell, we're probably gonna keep back some replacement heifers too. So we wanna put a percentage on how much is replacement heifers that are staying back in our operation. So here's what we're gonna do when we think about those calves. These are listed as percentages. So we've got the things that we will actually sell and make revenue on from our cow-calf enterprise. We're gonna have the calves out of those cows, okay? So for this instance, we're assuming all these calves are sold at weaning time and they're just feeder calves. So we've got heifer calves and steer calves as the two products we're selling. But we also know if we're keeping back replacement heifers, we're pro probably culling some cows, some older cows too. So that's another item that we are selling as part of our cow-calf enterprise. So here's what we do to determine how many of these we have available to sell, okay? And so what we're gonna look at is we're gonna say, okay, on the case of if I had 100 cows. We're gonna take a 100 cow example this time, and then I'll show you another example where perhaps we change that, and we look at your real numbers for your operations. But if I had 100 cows, okay? Just a minute ago, I said that the information for this particular budget was that it was a 90% calf crop. What that means is out of those 100 cows, they're having 90 calves, okay? So if we have 90 calves total, for any enterprise budget for livestock, we always take those and we split it half females, half males. That's just the simplest way to estimate. 
So we always estimate the same way when we're doing those enterprise budgets. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say that those 90 calves, 45 of those are females, 45 of those are males. Now, out of those 45 females and males, we might be doing lots of different things with them. Maybe for your operation, maybe out of those 45 females, you're going to keep back, mm, let's say you decide to keep back 15 of those as your own replacement heifers. And then you decide that 10 of those females, you're going to go ahead and keep and you're going to sell as show heifers to other people. And then the remaining portion of those, the other 20, are the ones you're selling as feeder heifers, just as feeder calves. Okay? So maybe that's your operation. Maybe out of your 45 males, maybe you're keeping 40 of those as yearling bulls to sell to other people for bulls and you're only culling five steers for feeder calves. Or maybe you are, maybe you've got 20 that are sold as show steers and then the other 25 are just feeder steers. So everybody's situation is gonna be different. This particular case looks at all calves being sold as feeder calves. So that means that these 45 males when I evaluate them and look at them on the budget, I'm going to say that all 45 of them are sold as steer calves. Okay? So I'm going to keep all of those and they're going to go into the budget. So you'll see this bottom line here as steer calves. So out of 100 cows, if I've got 45 steer calves to sell, then if I want to relate this back, because remember our budgets are per unit. So our budgets are either per acre for crops or per head for livestock, if I want to bring that back to what that would be per one cow, that would be the same as 0.45 head of steer calves. So this 0.45 head is the same thing as 45 calves out of 100 cows. We're just relating it to one cow. So we're going to move our decimal two places and we've got 0.45 head of steer calves to sell for every one cow. Okay. Our heifer calves, we had 45 females. But a minute ago, I told you that out of 100 cows, we wanted to keep 12% of those as replacement heifers. Well, that means that's 12 heifers kept back. So out of these 45 fem females, we're going to keep 12 as replacement heifers. And that's going to give us 33 feeder heifers to sell. So we've got our 33 feeder heifers. Those are also sellable items. So we're going to list that in our enterprise budget too. Remember in our crop budget, we listed what we had available for sale or that would generate revenue for us. Um, and so that's, even if it's opportunity revenue, so we included those items. So our heifer calves are showing at 33%. In other words, out of 100 cows, we have 33 to sell. So out of one cow, we have 0.33. We're just moving the decimal two places.